All right, so in this problem, I have x to the power of x is equal to 100. So I'm going to first start by taking the natural log, or ln, on both sides. So I have ln x to the power of x is equal to ln 100. Now, if I have something in the form ln a to the power of b, I can move this exponent of b to the front. So this can equal b times ln a. So for ln x to the power of x, I can move x to the front, and I'm going to get x times ln x is equal to ln 100. Now ln 100, that's the same thing as ln of 10 squared. So I get x times ln x is equal to ln 10 squared. And if I have something in the form ln a to the power of b, again, I can move 2 to the front. So I get x times ln x is equal to 2 times ln 10. Now, there's something called the W Lambert function. And if I take the W Lambert function of something in the form e to the power of, sorry, a times e to the power of a, this is going to equal a. So this is basically what the W Lambert function is. So if there's something in the form a to the power, a times e to the power of a, that's going to equal a. So what I'm going to do over here is I'm going to rewrite x here as e to the power of ln of x because e, the e and ln cancel out and this results in simply x. So I'm just going to rewrite x as e to the power of ln of x and I have this times ln x is equal to 2 times ln 10. And now this is in the form a times e to the power of a. So now if I take the w Lambert function on both sides, This results in ln x equaling w of 2 times ln 10. And now if I take e to the power of both sides, I get e to the power of ln x is equal to e to the power of w of 2 ln 10. And e to the power of ln x, that's going to equal x. So I get x is equal to e to the power of w of 2 times ln 10. And this is equal to 3.597285, which rounds up to 3.597. So this is my answer to this problem. All right, so in this problem, I have 4 to the power of 1 plus x plus 4 to the power of 1 minus x is equal to 10. So to start, if I have something in the form a to the power of n plus n, this is equal to a to the power of n times a to the power of n. So in this case, I have 4 to the power of 1 plus x. So that's going to equal 4 to the power of 1 times 4 to the power of x plus I have 4 to the power of 1 times 4 to the power of negative x is equal to 10. Now I'm going to factor out. 4 to the power of 1. Actually, before that, 4 to the power of negative x, that's the same thing as 4, 1 over 4 to the power of x, and 4 times 1 over 4 to the power of x is going to be 4 over 4 to the power of x. So now, I'm going to let 4 to the power of x equal to the variable y. So now I have 4y plus 4 over y is equal to 10. And now, to solve this, I'm going to multiply both sides by y. So I get 4y squared plus 4 is equal to 10y, meaning 4y squared 4y squared minus 10y plus 4 is equal to 0. And this means that 2y squared minus 5y plus 2 is equal to 0. And you have to use the quadratic formula to solve this. So you get negative 2, or sorry, negative negative 5, so positive 5 
plus or minus the square root of b squared, so negative 5 squared, which is 25, minus 4 times a, which is 2, times c, which is 2, all over 2a. And this is equal to 5 plus or minus the square root of 25 minus 16, which is 9, over 4, which is equal to 5 plus or minus 3 over 4, which is equal to either 8 over 4 or 2 over 4. Now, 8 over 4 is 2, and 2 over 4 is 1 half. So I have y equals 2 and y equals 1 half. Now, remember how we let 4 to the power of x equal to y. So I first have 4 to the power of x is equal to 2, and if 4 to the power of x equals 2, then this means that x is equal to 1 half. Now I have 4 to the power of x is equal to 1 half, and this means that x is equal to negative 1 half. All right, so in this problem, I have 2 to the power of x is equal to 5 to the power of x plus 2. So to solve this, I'm going to first start by using the property of exponents that states that a to the power of m plus n, this is the same thing as a to the power of m times a to the power of n. So in this case, we have 5 to the power of x plus 2, and we can think of a as 5, m as x, and n as 2. So we want to put this in this form right here. So to do that, well, a is 5, so we have 5 to the power of m, which is x, times 5 to the power of n, which is 2. So now we have 2 to the power of x is equal to 5 to the power of x times 5 to the power of 2. And now 5 to the power of 2, we honor that as 25. So now I have 2 to the power of x is equal to 5 to the power of x times 25. Now, we want both of these x's to be together. So to do that, I'm going to have to move 5 to the power of x to my left-hand side. And to do that, I have to divide both sides by 5 to the power of x. So then these two cancel out, and I get 2 to the power of x over 5 to the power of x is equal to 25. Now, if I have something in the form a to the power of m over a to the power of n, or sorry, if I have something in the form a to the power of m over b to the power of n, this is the same thing as a over b to the power of n. So 2 to the power of x over 5 to the power of x, that's going to equal 2 over 5 to the power of x, which is equal to 25. Now from here, if we want to solve for the value of x, we're going to have to make it a real variable instead of an exponent. And to do that, I'm going to take the log on both sides. So I have log 2 over 5 to the power of x is equal to log 25. And the reason I did this is because I can use the property that states that if I have something in form log a to the power of b, I can move this x1 and b to the front. So it's going to equal b times log a. So in this case, I have x times log 2 over 5 is equal to log 25 meaning x is equal to log 25 over log 2 over 5. All right, so in this problem, I have 9 to the power of 900 minus 9 to the power of 901. So for my solution, I'm going to first start by rewriting my original equation, uh, sorry, original problem here. So I rewrite 9 to the power of 900 minus 9 to the power of 901. And now this is the same thing as, can rewrite 901 as 900 plus 1. 
So this is the same thing as nine, 9 to the power of 900 minus 9 to the power of 900 plus 1. Now, there is an important exponential property that you guys should know. So if I have something in the form a to the power of m plus n, this is equal to a to the power of m times a to the power of n. So in this case, we have 9 to the power of 900 plus 1. And using this property, we can rewrite it as 9 to the power of 900 times 9 to the power of 900 and, or sorry, 9 to the power of 1. Now from here, notice how we have two terms here. Our first term is 9 to the power of 900, and our second term is 9 to the, 9 to the power of 900 times 9 to the power of 1. So because both of our terms have 9 to the power of 900 in them, we can factor that out. So we can factor our 9 to the power of 900, and we get 9 to the power of 900 times, well, 9 to the power of 900 divided by 9 to the power of 900 is 1, minus 9 to the power of 900 times 9 to the power of 1 divided by 9 to the power of 900 is simply just 9 to the power of 1. So I get 9 to the power of 900 times 1 minus 9 to the power of 1. And 9 to the power of 1 is the same thing as 9, so I get 9 to the power of 900 times 1 minus 9. Now from here, I'm going to simplify what's in my parentheses here. 1 minus 9 is negative 8, so I have 9 to the power of 900 times negative 8. And I can rewrite negative 8 as... 8 times negative 1. And now I'm going to multiply negative 1 with 9 to the power of 900. So I get negative 9 to the power of 900 times 8. Now from here, I'm going to, I can rewrite my 9 here as 3 squared. So I get 3 squared to the power of 900 times 8. And now 8, I can rewrite as 2 to the power of 3. So I have ne negative 3 squared to the power of 900 times 2 to the power of 3. And now remember, if I have something in the form a to the power of m to the power of n, this is equal to a to the power of m times n. So this can equal negative 3 to the power of 2 times 900. And now I have this times 2 to the power of 3. And if you guys already didn't know, 2, to the power, two times 900 is 1800, so I have negative 3 to the power of 1800 times 2 to the power of 3. So this is our answer in its most simplified form. We can't, if, if you want, you can try putting in 3 to the power of 1800, but that number is way too big for any calculator to actually be able to output. So this is the simplest form that we can put our answer in. So that is our answer to 9 to the power of 900 minus 9 to the power of 901 and see how much big of a difference it is.